Lucas Media. So Coach Saban, Nick Saban for the Alabama Crimson Tide is retiring after being the head football coach there since 2007. Nick Saban coached at several other schools like Toledo and Michigan State as well. He also won a national title at LSU. And he's had multiple first-round picks, multiple Heisman Trophy winners, the winningest football coach in all time when it comes to national titles in Division One, And he's had, like I said, the, the greatest run. This is unexpected. Now, I did see what some people said. He, he might have at some point. Last time I checked, Nick Saban had an extension until 2029 or 2030. But, I mean, he's 72 years old, so... He ready to retire, working 14 hours a day, constantly recruiting. And one thing I liked about Coach Saban is you can tell he all he all he cared about was football, nothing else. I remember uh, motivational speaker Eric Thomas said that when he spoke to Nick Saban, that's all he would talk about is nothing but football. And Nick Saban also comes from. The Bill Belichick tree, who was one of the greatest professional football coaches of all of all time. So it just, you know, everything is adding up. Now, Alabama went 11 and two this year. I thought they would have had a chance to win a national title, but. But they didn't. They end up losing a uh, falling short to Michigan. And the crazy thing is Alabama was ranked number two in the country this year in recruiting along with Georgia and Texas. It's crazy how the top three schools are uh, now SEC schools. So I'm wondering, will those will these commits still stay or will a lot of them decommit? And if there were people who signed early, which there were. Are they now going to see if they can get some type of release? Also, Nick Saban got a, a hell of a coaching tree. Um, just Kirby Smart as just one person. I mean, of course, Lane Kiffin was up, was there. I mean, coach after coach. Uh, I believe uh, Steve Sar Sarkeesian was there. And I'm wondering, will we ever see something like this again? Now, they don't know who would be a potential candidate for Alabama. But whoever it is, they ain't going to never be able to fill Coach Saban's shoes, at least at first. But I just want to give my quick thoughts on it. Shout out to Coach Saban, one of the greatest coaches of all time. He made Alabama a powerhouse from the time he got there. I mean, who I can just start naming off names. Julio Jones. Derrick Henry, Mark Ingram, and the, the list goes on and on. But I just want to get my quick thoughts on it. Tell me what y'all think.